Hello everyone, my name is Ben Golash with New England Low Vision and Blindness. And today we're gonna to be trying out the Idaptic I6. The Idaptic i6 has exactly the same hardware as the last version, which is the Idaptic i5, but it has a new functionality using AI to be able to do text-to-speech as well as scene description. In this video, we're gonna outline all of the features of the Idaptic i5, as well as adding in the Idaptic i6 AI features. The Idaptic i6 is an open system wearable, which means that it utilizes a sunglass-like wearable that light and air is able to pass through. Comparing this with other wearables like the Patriot Viewpoint or the Vision Buddy, this is a much smaller version for people who have central vision. For someone who's looking for a light wearable that is easy to put on, then this is a great option for you. The system contains the glasses themselves, which are tethered to a Motorola smartphone. The device utilizes a USB-C connection that connects to the back of the glasses, then into the port on the phone. Snap that in, and it's very secure there. It's no, no risk of it coming out or being dislodged in any way. Plugging it into the phone is just like how you would plug your charger in. So it's right on the bottom. You plug it into the phone, and then we're gonna power on the phone, which is this indented button here on the right side of the device. So if I press that, it's gonna power on the device. Once I tap on this large icon, it will bring us into the Idaptic i6 platform. So in this, we see there's a bunch of different options, but the main thing that we need to know is this slider down here at the bottom. This is gonna change our magnification for the device. So the operation of this is when I see something in the distance that I wanna magnify, I just scroll here on the app and it will zoom in one notch at a time. This device goes up to 10X, so it really gets up there in the magnification so we can really zone in on what we wanna see. We also have a big blue section up here that has a camera. When we tap this, it will go into the phone zoom mode. So instead of using the camera that's on the glasses, it's gonna use the camera that's on our phone. So this has a great application if you wanna set this up to either look up at your TV, you can look out the window, or you could even point it down at a piece of paper and use this device as a CCTV magnifier. To exit out of the phone zoom, we're gonna press the big X up at the top, and then we're gonna go back to the glasses camera. We also have a couple of options here below our camera mode, which is auto zoom, as well as bright text. Auto zoom is a really neat feature that you can either have it zoom in automatically on faces or text. This choice can be made within the settings of the app. Bright text is a really nice feature that will just brighten up the contrast when you zoom in with the device. So as you can see, as I zoom in, bright text automatically goes on. So that is the basics of the Idaptic i5. Now, going into the Idaptic i6 features, I wanna mention something. That if you have an Idaptic i5, you can purchase an upgrade for your i5 into the i6. So like I mentioned before, the i5 and the i6 have exactly the same hardware. It's just added in the feature of having an AI assistant. To utilize this AI assistant, I'm gonna activate a button up here on the top of the glasses. When I press this in, it's gonna take a picture and you will hear a shutter sound. Once this picture is taken, it will not say anything audibly unless I want it to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the button on the phone right above the power button. And I'm gonna use this like a walkie talkie. So utilizing the speakers in the microphones within the glasses, I'm gonna hold down this button at the top of the device and say a command. What is in front of me? 
Once it understands what I said, it's gonna have this bubbly noise, which is the loading noise. There is a setup that looks like a small studio or office space. There is a bright light on a stand, a table, a laptop, and some pens and other equipment. The wall has some signage related to New England low vision and blindness. Okay, so it just described the scene that was in front of me. If I wanted to read text, then I would have the command read this text or what is this text? It's not very picky on what you say. So you can say it in any verbiage that you wish and Ivy, who is the AI assistant within this device, will let you know what you want. I can do this operation for any scene description or text reading that I would like. This AI assistant that is built into the iDaptic i6 really opens up the door for wearables. It allows you to access text with your wearable. Traditionally, wearables are meant for distance viewing. So any TV watching, if you're going to sporting events, if you're going to the theater, but with this new Ivy AI assistant, it really opens up the world. If you're used to using seeing AI on your phone, this is gonna be such a great complement to that system. It provides you with extremely accurate OCR, as well as the ability to ask specific questions about the text that you're looking at. Another amazing feature with this AI assistant is that it does over 99 language translations. So if you have a document that's in a foreign language, let's say if it's in Mandarin or in Spanish, this device will not necessarily read it word for word, but it will translate the gist of what that document is saying in the foreign language, which is a really helpful feature to have. Now, being here at New England Low Vision and Blindness, I have experience with so many different OCR devices, and trying this out in the past couple of days, I am just blown away by the accuracy, the voice, and the ability to ask questions about your text. Not only can you ask questions about your text, but also you can ask questions about your environment. So you can ask, is there a light switch in front of me? Is there a door in front of me? Is there a cup on the table? And Ivy will accurately tell you and answer any questions that you have about your environment. I mean, this really is an amazing feature for this device. It's really one of the only wearables that offers this type of feature. Envision is another device that offers similar features to this, but it is not a vision wearable. This is just a text-to-speech wearable. So the Adaptic i6 combines the Envision features with an open system wearable that allows you to magnify your distance viewing as well as read any text and describe scenes for you. So that does it for the Adaptic i6. Please be sure to check out this on our website. Our website will be linked down in the description, as well as check out the rest of our YouTube channel where we have videos on a variety of different assistive technology devices. And thank you for watching.